Hello again, rail fans. In the video you are watching, we are checking out all of the trains that were seen over a two-day period, including several special locomotives and several great horns. But before I get any of this started, I would like to give a huge shout-out to one of my good friends, Stetson, and his amazing mother. If it weren't for either of these two, I wouldn't have seen any of the trains in this video, and I am truly thankful that they let me tag along with them on their adventure. I really cannot thank you guys enough. It really meant a lot. Another person I would like to give a huge thanks to is Dakota. He was a huge help throughout this trip. Without Dakota, catching a very special ethanol train would have been much harder than it was, and the chances of missing it would have gone up significantly. Thanks a ton, guys. It truly meant a lot, and I am again very thankful. As for the viewers, I hope you enjoy the video. The first train we catch is 071013 through Plant City. We waited a bit after that until we heard chatter on the scanner about 070913 backing his way through Lake Wales Junction off of the Plant City subdivision to go north on the Yeoman subdivision. I didn't make it in time to see him back up, but I did catch him pulling north. Quick shout out to the crew, they gave us quite a horn show and were super friendly. After 070913 started going north from the Yeoman subdivision, we knew that Amtrak P091-12 was departing Lakeland Station, so we set up under the Highway 572 overpass in Winston, Florida, and wait for him to arrive. He arrives in minutes and rips past us in less than 10 seconds. All we had to do after that was head west on US 92 to catch 0708 13 pulling out of 84 lumber and evergreen packaging after switching them.
once he pulled out, he stopped, lined the switch for the main, pushes consist back on the main. and hooked onto the rest of his consoles to head towards Winston Yard. After this, we go back east a little ways to South Webb Street in Winston, Florida to catch PO 9112 again, which had just departed Tampa Union Station. And holy cow, he was fast. After this point, we decided to head over to Plant City to wait for Amtrak PO 9213, but we got caught up with 070913 again on our way to the platform. We arrive a little too early for Amtrak though because we had to wait two hours for him to come through. Thankfully one of our friends, Trevor, also known as Railfanner777 on YouTube was there so it felt like it was only a 15 minute wait. Once he passed, we switched sides on the platform because we knew CSX train Q442-13 was on the move. Q442 is a daily manifest freight train from Tampa, Florida to Waycross, Georgia. He passed Plant City about 10 minutes after PO9213 did. And not too long after, PO 9213 had departed from Tampa Union Station and was heading towards Plant City. So I set up at North Palmer Street and waited for him to come. It didn't take long and he was through Plant City in less than two minutes.
and just like that, gone. It always impresses me how these trains can be here one second and just gone the next. We knew that there was another train on the A-Line coming up, so we set up on the field just west of South Lake Street in Plant City, Florida. The train coming up was CSX Q04613. Q0416 is the daily hotshot Tropicana Intermotor train from CSX's Yusita Yard in Tampa to CSX's Duval Yard in Jacksonville. Once it gets to Jacksonville, this train will either become CSX train Q0032 or Q142. Q0032 is from Jacksonville, Florida to North Bergen, New Jersey, while Q142 is from Jacksonville, Florida to Cincinnati, Ohio. The next train we catch is CSX Q60413, the daily manifest freight train from Winston, Florida to Waycross, Georgia. We are set up at Lakeland Junction for this one, and I have to say I really do like this spot. We knew that CSX train Q04513 and 073913 were on their way, so we decided to find a spot along US 92 to catch them there. On our way, however, our good friend Dakota let us know that CSX train K42310 with two special units, CSX 911 and 1776, was in Bushnell, Florida and was on his way to Plant City. 
So we decided to head to Plant City and catch all three trains there.
Our first catch for day two was CSX train K81014, which is a phosphate train from Mulberry, Florida to Cicero, Illinois. Also note the GEC40-9W number 9000 on the front. I thought this was kind of cool to catch. Our second catch was CSX train 073014, a Winston, Florida to New Wales, Florida turn. Another thing to note is a locomotive on the head, which just so happened to be the spirit of Louisville. We made our way north and saw K81014 again, so we chased him up Highway 539 until we found a spot. Sorry about how shaky the footage is. If you couldn't tell, we had probably less than 10 seconds to set up. After this, we made our way to Auburndale to catch PO 9113, the southbound Silver Star, and PO 9814, the northbound Silver Meteor. Quick note, PO 9113 had P42 DC 157 leading, which is one of the little game train units. Another thing to note is the sound created when the locomotive's horn is sounded while smashing a diamond under an overpass. It's amazing, yet deafening.
Up next, of course, was PO 9814, the northbound silver meteor from Miami, Florida to New York, New York. After that, we made our way to Vitus Junction to catch Q45314, spoiler alert, we don't, but we did manage to catch two full trains, of which both IDs I unfortunately don't know, as they both snuck up on us. About an hour or so later, the second coal train came through. Note the stellar K5H on the lead unit. After this, we decided to head back home and end our adventure. But on the way back, we get caught with one more train. 07514. 0750 is the Palmetto Subdivision local, and he was in the middle of switching National Gypsum in Gibsonton, Florida. Luck was on the better side for us that day, and we happened to be at the right place at the right time. Well, there you have it, my Central Florida Railfan outing. 
Once again, huge thank you to everyone who made it possible. It was very fun and I am very thankful. This is Palmetto Subrail Fan in Gibsonton, Florida. Out.